Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Still segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is just a quick overview of the contextual toolbar and some of the new features that have been added in version 2017. To toggle this on, you can just come here to the settings and toggle this contextual toolbar option on or off, or you can just hit Control K on your keyboard. And then you'll notice that there's this floating icon here that will just kind of follow you around um, as you select things within the model. If you hold down control and click and drag, you can see kind of that rubber band show up, which will control the distance from the object that you select of where this toolbar will show up. So if it's getting in your way, if you want it further or closer, um, you can do that. There's also this pin in place option so that you can click and drag and put that wherever you want so that it will always be where you expect um, each time you select on an object. So some of the things that we've added in version 2017 here, if I come in and hover this, is I can control the visibility of objects directly from this. So this is just like if I double clicked, went to display, and I could toggle on these options for in the model or in components. So if I wanted to hide my component symbols, I could do that. I can also turn off my bolts. Um, I also have the ability to load object representations here. So if I wanted to change my colorization of the model to color by phase, for example, I could do that. Um, and then set that to anything that I would want. I also have the ability to come in and control my display filter. So I can just change that back to standard and then we can select objects. One of the things that we've added here is the ability to add macros and user defined attributes. So if I click this drop down, it will give me a list of all of the macros and the user defined attributes that I can add to this list and then I can just click to see those in the toolbar or not. And then I can save different profiles. So if I wanted to share this with someone or have a specific profile, I have the ability to do that. One of the things um, that's also added here is this ability to show display detailing. So if I wanted to see the bolts or the welds or the cuts on this piece, a common trick is to delete it, hit undo, and then it shows all the detailing information. Um, instead of doing that, you can just come in and click on this, and you can see that now it pulls in all of the, the cuts and the fittings and the bolts um, and anything that I want to be able to see with regards to that. So some of the user-defined attributes and macros that I've added, just to show you a quick example here, is I can set the erection status on this piece, and that will be, be stored there, and then I can go through and select multiple objects and select that uh, user-defined attribute as needed. Some of the macros that I added is this open shop drawing, so I can just select that, click on the piece, and then if there are assembly drawings or part drawings for that, then I can choose which one I want to open. So I'm just going to hit yes to open the assembly drawing. So here I can be able to view that and it saves me time from going to the drawing list, filtering by parts or select objects from the model, for example. Another thing that I have added here is if I want to show this exact geometry. So if I wanted to come in and see exactly what the shape uh, looked like with the radius and that sort of stuff than I could as opposed to the current way that I'm displaying this here within the model. The last one that I'll show you is this macro here that's pretty handy, uh, especially when you're working in like a, a hip and valley or a complex modeling situation is this create surface view. So let's say I wanted to have a flat view of this brace so that I can lay out my gusset plate, for example. I can use this macro. It'll create a flat view of this for me. It'll set the UCS here. And then I can begin modeling in this square view to that particular piece. And then I can just close this view when I'm done. So uh, a lot of improvements and enhancements have been made to this um, with the idea of speeding up your interaction there within the model, giving you the information that you need. So I'd invite you to test it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.